A popular, well-liked guy in a small Pennsylvania town, the alleged victim of harassment for years. Then one day, Frank Spencer turned up, murdered, execution style. Police hone in on two suspects, one dubbed the Black Widow. Maria is a two-faced liar. You can't lie and keep a straight face. She can. The other could be called Papa Spider. Did you kill Frank? No. Then who did? You know who did your dad? I have no idea. Did Spencer, a father of two, know he was about to be gunned down? And did he suspect Maria would be the killer? When Maria Sanuti and Frank Spencer married, things were good for a while. They had two kids, a boy and a girl. Frank loved cars and racing. He owned Frank Spencer Auto Parts and sponsored race cars in the community. He literally had racing in his blood. His cousin is former NASCAR driver Jimmy Spencer. He sponsored us all the way through. Even our uh, go-kart team we have now, we have one of his names on the car. He was always there for these kids. Maria was a beautiful, smart mom with a law degree and the dedication to coach her daughter's soccer team. But when things in their marriage went downhill, it was a free fall. Allegedly, Maria told her coworkers multiple times she was going to kill Frank. Reportedly, a coworker even gave her the nickname Black Widow. Eventually, they split. That's when the harassment started and continued for years. When their house burned down down there, everybody said, I said it, I'll bet she had something to do with that. Allegedly, Maria set Frank's mom's and his new girlfriend's homes on fire and threatened all their lives on multiple occasions. Court documents obtained by Crime Watch Daily show a number of frightening incidents after the separation, when Black Widow Maria spun her venom, telling Frank, you're going to quit breathing if you keep with me. If you build something down there, I'll burn that down too. You're dead, you're dead. I'm going to take the kids and move to Florida without you because you won't be around. No charges were ever brought against Maria at the time of the threats. But Maria's father, Anthony Rocco Franklin, apparently wasn't a fan of Frank's either. Reportedly, while Anthony was in prison talking to a guard about Frank, he said, I'll have him taken care of. I know people. But in the days leading up to Frank's murder, the 46-year-old allegedly told friends he knew it was coming. He was right. One morning, while on his front porch, he was shot twice. Once in the arm and once in the head. Then dragged inside the house. Two different weapons were used, a handgun and a rifle. Frank Spencer's body was found by a close friend two days later. His truck was found a day after that, a few blocks from a bar owned by one of Maria's family members. Another find? A sniper's nest 115 feet from Frank's front door. I've known the guy forever and he's been a really good friend of mine. Just total tragedy, can't believe it happened. Investigators believed Maria was responsible and she didn't act alone. Cops believed her father, Anthony Rocco Franklin, was shooter number two. Maria, do you have anything to say? No, no, thank you. Our affiliate WNEP followed the big break when two years later, Maria Sanuti Spencer was arrested and charged with more than two dozen counts, including criminal homicide, burglary, and arson. Anthony Franklin, well, he fled to Argentina. What do you think about all of this? You heard all those charges? I mean, I think that they would like my father to come home and tell them what he knows. And they think arresting me is the way to get him to come here. A year later, the case went to trial. Are you happy, though, that to see this going to trial? Oh, yes, definitely. It should have been going to trial a long time ago. Justice is served, but my God, it's a long time. The trial lasted two weeks, and after two days of deliberations, the jury came back with the verdict. Guilty on all counts, including first-degree murder. I'll be back in a year and a half for my appeal. Thank you. Her sentence? Life in prison without the possibility of parole. They just sent an innocent person to prison, and they took their mother from their kids. 
I, I don't even have words for it. Uh, people had been terrorized over an extended period of time. Uh, we're happy that we've gotten to this state. I did not kill Frank Spencer, and I never wanted Frank Spencer to die. I love that man. And not so much that I didn't want anyone else to have him. One peculiar thing many noticed was that during the trial, and even after she was convicted, Maria was always smiling. I didn't kill him, so I try to be upbeat, I try to be positive. Everybody kept saying I was gonna go home. Maria maintains her innocence and now points the finger at who she says is the real killer. Did your father kill Frank Spencer? I believe so, yes, but he didn't do it for me. Frank's friends and family are happy to see the outcome. I think she deserves it. We have a huge void in our lives now. There's no winners in this. But wish things could have been stopped before Frank was murdered. The sad part is at least justice was done today, but it should have been done while Frank was alive. The evidence was still here. They just didn't dig deep enough.